Hi, I'm Jill Daniel, professor of psychology and director of the neuroscience program at Tulane University. I'm a behavioral neuroscientist, meaning I aim to understand the relationship between the brain and behavior. My particular area of research is hormones and the brain, and we use rodent models, rats and mice in our work, to try to understand the role that hormones such as estrogens and androgens, including testosterone, have on the brain and cognition. We look at the effects of these hormones across the lifespan from early in development when they organize our brains as male and female to later in life when they impact the way our brains age. Most of my research has focused on estrogen and its effects on memory, but today I want to talk about a new area of research in the lab that we've just begun about five years ago. There's a sex difference in levels of impulsive behavior. We aim to understand brain mechanisms that may contribute to this sex differences. In humans, males exhibit increased impulsive behavior as compared to females. We first had to determine if that same sex difference exists in our animal model. So I'll show you a picture on our computer of the base we use to test impulsivity in rats. So we put the rat in this end of the maze. The rat learns that if it turns right, it will receive five Fruit Loops, and if it turns left in the maze, it will receive one Fruit Loop. The trick is, if the rat turns right, it has to wait for a delay, say 15 seconds, before it's allowed to eat its food reward. We've found that in rats, like humans, males prefer an immediate small reward as opposed to a delayed large reward as compared to females. We're actually able to reverse this sex difference by manipulating hormones early in life when brains are being organized as male or female. So we next looked at brain mechanisms. This schematic, as well as the work I'm describing, was completed by Daniel Bayless, a PhD student in the lab who graduated in May of 2014. So this is a side view of a rat brain. The dorsal striatum, right here, is a brain area that contributes to impulsive responding. The prefrontal cortex, right here, is sort of the boss of the brain, and its projections to the dorsal striatum inhibits impulsive responding. We hypothesize that perhaps females have more connections from the prefrontal cortex to the dorsal striatum than do males. To test this hypothesis, we infuse what is called an anterograde tracer into the prefrontal cortex. This tracer will be taken up by brain cells or neurons in the prefrontal cortex. The tracer will travel down the connections called axons to target brain areas, including the dorsal striatum. We then will be able to take slices through the dorsal striatum to determine how much tracer has arrived at that brain area. As you can see here, we found that female rats had more tracer in their dorsal striatum than did male rats, indicating greater connections from the prefrontal cortex to the dorsal striatum. We think that this is one mechanism by which females have more control over impulsive behavior than do males. We are currently investigating the role of hormones, estrogens and testosterone, in mediating these sex differences in the brain. We think that this work has implications for understanding male vulnerability to certain disorders of impulse control, such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I currently have one postdoctoral fellow, three PhD students, a master's student, and several undergraduates working with me in the lab to understand the relationship between hormones, brains, and behavior. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.